Hey, if I talk for a bit, can you listen? A lot of people have been asking about Adrian and Sarks and called me lots of prickly monkey names. People said I rejected Adrian, but that's just not too long. I was his Moyel for a really long time, and no matter what I said, he never listened. I don't know if he liked me, or just the idea of me. It's hard to explain. See, my ship is like a dance. It's hard if your partner isn't dancing too. And his anger, his fury, it was like holding back a tidal wave. And no matter how hard I tried, he was never really happy. And I, I was just so tired. I couldn't do it anymore. For the first time in my life, I felt like I was drowning. And then, all at once, I was free. And this wonderful guy surfaced. He made me laugh. He would listen when I was upset. We could both talk, both feel we were dancing. But even now, when he looks at me, I know he sees someone else. Despite everything, they're mine. They're funny, and I love them. I'm only six weeks, and our whole world is shipwrecked. How do I choose? I only wanted us all to be happy for a while. But that doesn't really matter now, does it? What are your thoughts on all the pollution from the land dwellers? I can't lie and say it doesn't hurt me. But the land dwellers, they do not know what they do. Not really. But I am grateful. I have a fond hooking out for me. My wiggling day was a week from now. My parents won't even hug me. My sister doesn't even need me. Just for you to answer this question would be my first present. I haven't felt too well lately. Can I have a hug? Beth, I never get hugs. Can I have a hug too? Of course. Come here. I love hearing from all my little fish. But lately, the things I've heard have broken my heart. People hunger for love. I wish I could hug all of you. But since I can't, I'll tell you my secret. It's really important to reach out and let people know you are aching. No matter how strong you are, you still need help sometimes. And this is hard, but ask. Ask people to hug you if that's what it takes for you to feel beta. Don't be afraid. You never know who could get the best ones. Jeffrey, today is the human holiday of Thanksgiving. What are you thankful for? It doesn't seem like a lot's going well for us right now. Half of us are gone. But even while we're apart, we are still fighting for one another. We're all still together, even if it's only dreaming. I'm thankful we are together. Beth, I'm so sorry, I don't even know what came over me. Please forgive me. Oh, Aridan, of course I'll forgive you. It's alright now. We don't have to fight or hurt anymore. Everything will get better. You'll see. It's alright now. Shh. Now, I'm so sorry I couldn't stop you. Have you met Jane Crocker? What do you think about the new girl, Peppery? Well, she has a Harris too, right? She seems pretty neat. We might even have a lot in common. Jeffrey, I'm so sorry. I just stood there when he flipped his shit. I could have stepped in. I'm sorry. I'm such a shitty leader and all. I should have fucking done something. But no, I just fucking stood there and watched. I feel like this is all my fault. I'm just so sorry. I'm so sorry. Crabcat. It's okay, Crabcatch. Why are you awful to so many people? You're not the just and kind princess you say or appear to be. If you were to be empress, you would be worse than your ancestor. You are the most awful princess I have ever heard of. You awful creature that should not have hatched. But worse? Worse than the... How dare you? Do you even know me? 
everything I do is for my people. And your Lucius is ugly. There's a kitten in your box. Well, hello there. Mm -hmm. I wonder, do trolls have to go to school too? Well, I didn't have it fed to me like the other trolls. I studied myself. As the Harris, I could choose whatever I wanted. Even for Ben books, lost to the ages. I think these books helped me shape up. And hopefully my region too. I'm so sorry, Princess. I couldn't protect you. I apologize for that. I'm helping the others right now. I'll see you soon, I think. It's alright now. Welcome home. I've missed you too. Have you ever been to a carnival? Or a festival? I'm not supposed to go to low-bred festivals, so my friends snare me in. And now, they're my favorite things in the world. Have you ever worn any of your friends' clothes? Well, it might be because I'm always short up dripping wet, but I wear my friends' clothes all the time. Hello, Fefri. I heard your new song in the Cascade album, and I fell in love with it. How do you feel about it? I love it. Would you cuddle the ancestors? There's only one I want to cuddle. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Descendant. Your hair was like mine when I was your age. Let me brush it, okay? Glub. It'd be really nice to be like this for a while. Do the boys have any weird nicknames for you? Oh god, yes. Pretty Gill, Hun Bunch, Sea Tai Pai, Beautiful, Beloved, Princess? Oh god. What are your thoughts on Briska? Briska. She's really complicated. She's a good person. She's just lonely. She doesn't mean to be bad. She and I, we both had to do awful, terrible things in order to keep our looses safe and full. And even then, I don't think she had the same kind of relationship Mom and I do. It's, it's really hard for her. She just needs someone to really care for her. Love. That's all. She's just hurt. But I think she's really pretty and funny. I hope someone feels good for her soon. Not just black. She's a good girl. She just made mistakes. She deserves to be happy too. Feffrey, be gender bent. Okay, bro. Jeffrey, how would your wedding be if you got married with Airden? <laughs> you can kiss the bride, but you won't wake up. <laughs>